Welcome to Reef Diary, day 33. Let's get an update on that algae turf scrubber. So Jack wants to go for her walk, but I wanted to show you guys this before I walk out the door. I looked in here yesterday and I was so surprised. I love what I found. So, uh, it's so heavy. <laughs> Look how full of algae it is. I've never seen it do this before. So we're gonna break it down and see what it looks like inside. So as soon as Jack and I got back from our walk, I went ahead and I grabbed the drawer out of the turf scrubber and I filmed moving it into the kitchen and the camera wasn't on at all. <laughs> Look at all that lush hair algae. Wow, seriously. And the other side was even more spectacular, but the camera wasn't on, so we didn't get it. But here what I did was I peeled off everything I could. I didn't want to scrub the screen clean. I didn't want to eliminate all the stuff that had self-threaded itself into the material. This is such a monster change from what I've been observing since I installed my turf scrubber for the first time March 10th, 2020. So it's been a year and a half. And during that whole first year <laughs> and a half, I have been growing nothing but snot and red stuff and yellow stuff and it was just gross. Sometimes there was some ulva, but there was never any hair algae. And so when we restarted this on day seven of Reef Diary, that's when I used some hair algae that uh, Jason had shipped me with a brand new screen and I installed it. So that was 26 days ago. And in 26 days, I have a whole bunch of algae that came off the screen and off the bottom of the drawer. And it is exactly how it's supposed to have worked all this time. I'm so glad to finally have it working the way it should be. Now, the main recommendation is really clean up everything. But because I had such a hard time getting this started in the first place, I don't want to mess with success. I'm glad to see it growing hair algae. And it really looked almost 100% clean, uh, clean algae. There wasn't like a lot of hideous other things in there. And I think I should be able to clean this every two weeks now instead of every three or four and end up having really good results. I'm intentionally leaving little bits behind to encourage new growth from this. Let it seed the future growth of the next two weeks. Because the Reef Diaries have been so frustrating lately, it's nice to have something that's working properly and doing what it's supposed to do. The cleaning process this time was really just scrape things away, peel things off, wipe it down, and put it back together. I didn't want to do any kind of rinsing. I didn't want to do anything that could cause any harm to what we finally established as good, healthy green hair algae, which is crazy to actually want green hair algae. But in this case, that's exactly what I needed, and that's what's happened. Do you run an algae turf scrubber? And if so, do you have success? And how much are you pulling off? And how often are you doing it? I'm very curious. This wad of hair algae I'm holding here, that's a pound and a half. I actually weighed it. <laughs> I told you that drawer felt heavy. I mean, the drawer itself is made of uh, polycarbonate and acrylic, and it's kind of heavy, but with all that algae and the water inside there, it was significant. Using a damp paper towel, I just wiped off all the crud that was accumulating along the top of the tray because I didn't want that to build up and become something hardened and difficult to remove later. I'm basically done. It's nice to be able to do a job that only takes five minutes. <laughs> it takes longer to make these videos than it does to actually do the task. So here it is, ready to go back into the case where all the magic happens, where the lighting is. And that is how I left it. I'm calling that a success. I, I just wish we had had that footage from the beginning because it was super impressive. But you did see the little part when I pulled the drawer out. Uh, reef tank wise, nothing really great happening as you know the uh the few chalices that i really care about look terrible i did get my icp test results back today i'm going to review them with a couple of friends and see what kind of thoughts they have uh, one of the first things i was told to send in another sample and double check and i'm thinking yeah in the morning i can mail another one but that's a whole week until i get a reply again and i am sick of waiting for things to get better so i am trying to decide how to handle things as best i can Earlier today, I did decide to put in Phosphate RX at last. I put in 125 drops, which is less than what the tank actually needs. I just wanted to lower it some because I don't want to see algae breaking out. Another thing I'm looking at doing is soon is getting a cleanup crew to start working on the rock that's all exposed now so they can clean it and pick it clean and make sure everything looks nice. So the tank was cloudy for a few hours and actually, you know, now it is 1030 at night and the tank's crystal clear. I love this product. I've been using it for a decade and I highly recommend it. And by the way, 
when I check the ICP test every single time, my lanthanum level is always lower than natural seawater. So I'm not getting any kind of buildup that's causing harm to the livestock or to the system or building up and causing issues for the tank long term. I appreciate you guys watching these diaries each day. I hope that you're getting something out of them. If you uh, like this, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Reef Diary.